motions of the earth first motion that is rotation so today we will do the second motion of the earth that is revolution so what is revolution revolution is the motion or the movement of the earth around the sun this is called the revolution for one revolution earth is taking 365 and 14 days now what are the effects of the revolution basically today we will talk about the effects of the revolution the effects basically two types of effect is there that the varying length of the day and night and the second is seasonal change and season, today basically we will talk about that seasons how revolution is creating different type of seasons now season change it is uh, depending on some factor first of all obviously the motion revolution and second one is the inclination of the earth's axis last time we have talked about that inclination that earth at earth's axis is not a straight line but it is slightly inclined so due to this two reasons season change is occurring we are having basically four main seasons and they are summer autumn winter and spring okay and now this summer winter spring and autumn they are related to two topics one is solstice another one is equinox what is solstice what is the meaning of solstice solstice means the sun stands still and equinox means equal day and night solstice creates two season and equinox creates two season solstice creates summer and winter and due to equinox we get two types of season that is autumn and spring now before going to the season change i will make you i, I will make you want to know that apparent movement of the sun we all know that earth is having two motions one is rotation and revolution but sun is also having a motion and the limit of that motion is 23 and a half degree north that that is tropic of cancer and 23 and a half degree south that is uh, tropic of capricorn so sun starts its journey from 0 degree and it goes to the tropic of cancer and it takes 3 months again it comes to the equator like i have shown with arrow over here first journey it starts from equator it moves to 23 and a half degree north again it comes back to equator again it takes 3 months again it starts moving towards the south and reaches 23 and a half degree south and takes 3 months again it comes to equator taking 3 months so this is the a uh, total 12 months uh, classification okay now if i consider that earth is starting its journey and uh, from the 23 and a half degree the date is 21st june so 3 month after 3 month when it reaches uh, equator the date is 22nd september on 22nd september it reaches equator on 21st december it reaches 23 and a half degree south and again 20th march it reaches equator so this is the mechanism of sun's apparent movement and the limit for the sun's apparent movement is to the north it is tropic of cancer and to the south it is tropic of capricorn now come to the season change we all know that inclination of the earth Uh, only we have discussed that inclination of the earth's axis and revolution they are responsible for the season change when star, uh, sun is uh, moving towards the north and it reaches northern hemisphere 23 and a half degree north that is 21st of june it is called summer solstice means northern hemisphere is inclined towards the sun and gets maximum heat so summer occurs in the northern hemisphere and winter occurs in the southern hemisphere now after june it reaches it, it comes to equator once again the date is 22nd september so here autumn occurs in the northern hemisphere because both the hemisphere is not too much inclined towards the sun or not too much far away from the sun so this is autumn for northern hemisphere and spring for southern hemisphere 
this year. Now again it moves towards the south and it reaches 23 and a half degrees south on 21st of December. So this is called winter solstice. Why? Because northern hemisphere this time it is far away from the sun and having less heat. So northern hemisphere is having winter season and southern hemisphere is having summer season. After 21st, second, uh, 21st September, sun comes towards equator and it reaches on 20, 20th March. So 20th March, northern hemisphere, it is having the spring and southern hemisphere, they are having the autumn. That is the seasonal reaching or a season change which happens due to revolution. This is a very important topic for your exam. So hope you have understood the topic. Let us meet in another class with another topic.